Hello students, welcome to All Force eLearning channel. This is K Nagishwar Rao, Physics Faculty. And today we are dealing with session number 35. We have been discussing about few concepts of uh, what uh, one dimensional motion and kinematic equations were already derived. We have even solved a few problems in the last session. So let us continue our discussion. What are the kinematic equations that we have derived uh, you know, in the previous sessions? These are the kinematic equations. V is equal to u plus a t, s is equal to u t plus half a t square, v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s, s n is equal to u plus a into n minus half. Mainly these are the four equations that we have discussed, isn't it? What if body starts from rest? Let the body let the body has started from rest if the body is starting from rest you can take u as 0 initial velocity as 0 therefore all these equations get modified as v is equal to a t the first equation u is 0 second equation s is equal to half a t square and the third one v square is equal to 2a s and this equation fourth one s n is equal to a into n minus half regarding you know uh, initial velocity being zero and ratio between s and s n we have already discussed in the last session okay what if the body is undergoing retardation let the body is undergoing deceleration or retardation or negative acceleration then what you have to do you have to replace acceleration with minus a because deceleration in the sense it's a negative acceleration velocity is decreasing with the time okay so if that is the situation what you can do you have to replace a with minus a then these equations gets modified like this v is equal to u minus a t s is equal to u t minus half a t square and v square minus u square is equal to minus 2 a s and s n is equal to u minus a into n minus half that is how equations gets mod get modified. I want you to understand this picture okay if the body starts from rest position you have to replace u with 0 if the body is undergoing retardation if it is undergoing deceleration this this is how you have to modify the equation and accordingly you have to use these equations and today I will make use of these kinematic equations to discuss few more applications let us see. I will I'll describe a situation like a object is moving, body is moving. Let us say it has moved from a point A to another point B. Okay. But there is a midpoint between these two. I will call this as C. Distance of separation between A and C, I will take it as S. Distance of separation between C and B, I will take it as S. Because this is midpoint, no. So, total distance of separation between these two points is what? A and B, 2S. Initially, let us say a body which is travelling with uniform acceleration, it is travelling with uniform acceleration. Initially, at point A, it is having a velocity u, and at point B, when it is crossing this point B, let us say it has a velocity b. So, my interest is I wanted to find out velocity of the object when it is crossing this point C here at this point. I will assume it as v1 and what is our task now? We have to find a way to deal with this v1, how to find v1. So here, what are the known quantities to us? Distance of separation between A and B and initial velocity, velocity at the point A and velocity at point B both are known to us. What we have to find out? We have to find out velocity at the midpoint of this, you know, these two points A and B. I'll, I have taken that as v1. So I will make use of one of the kinematic equations, okay. Children, here time related data is not there we don't have any time related data all that was known to is this object is traveling with uniform acceleration let the acceleration of the body is equal to a 
I have assumed isolation as A. So we have only details about what distance of separation and uh, velocity at point A, velocity at point B. So the appropriate equation to make use here to deal with the situation is, you know, whatever equation that is in terms of distance u and v. What is that equation? v square minus u square is equal to 2as. Okay. Since v square minus u square is equal to 2as. I will apply this equation for, you know, between point A and C. What is the initial velocity here at point A? U. What is the final velocity at point C? V1. Okay. So, what I can write for this A to C? V1 square final velocity minus initial velocity U square is equal to 2AS. That's how U equation can be written. I will erase this equation because you will be confused. Uh, this is what uh, the default equation, but here we are already having V and U. Okay. This V and this U has nothing to do with this one. Okay. This has nothing to do with this one. Uh, even if you want, you can you can just keep it like that. Okay. Now, I will apply this equation for C to B. In case of C to B, what is the initial velocity? V1 square. Final velocity is what? V square. So, in place of final velocity, place what I can replace now? V square minus what is the initial velocity corresponding to uh, journey between C and V? V1 is the initial velocity. V1 square is equal to what is the distance of separation between C and V? So, yes. 2 a s. That's how you can write. Okay. Now, since R j are equal, you can you can equate these two equations. V1 square minus U square is equal to V square minus V1 square. And just bring this minus V1 square to the LHS side. It becomes 2 V1 square is equal to V square plus u square, you know this minus u square is taken to the uh, what uh, RHS side. So, v1 square is equal to v square plus u square by 2 or v1 can be written as under root v square plus u square by 2. So, that is how you can write uh, the velocity equation. Okay. So, this is a situation where I applied kinematic equation. What equation was used? Uh, v square minus u square is equal to 2 as. This equation is used. Remember children, whatever S I have taken here, this S and this S both are different. This is just default equation. Okay. In this equation, all that you should remember is here the term stands for final velocity. This term stands for initial velocity. This term stands for distance covered and A is what? Acceleration. And this is used to write these two equations, this equation and this equation. Finally, what do you get for V1? V1 is equal to under root V square plus U square by 2. And similar to this one, I will, you know, I will describe one more situation. Let me erase this. This model is uh, uh, an important model only. See what happens when you uh, when you shoot a bullet. Let us say you have shot a bullet into a tree trunk. It gets penetrated. It gets embedded into the tree trunk. If the bullet is having more velocity, it uh, penetrates through the tree trunk and it uh, uh, it passes, it, it travels uh, from the other end of the tree, tree trunk, isn't it? But most of the times, what, what do you expect to happen? The bullet will come to rest position somewhere inside the tree trunk. Let us say you have taken some wooden block, a bullet is shot from this side with a gun. It gets, what the, the moment when it uh, touches the surface of the block, from that moment onwards, it undergoes deceleration. Initially, it might be having a constant high velocity. Obviously, bullets will have high velocity, isn't it? So, with that high velocity, once it starts penetrating into the block of mass, wooden block, what happens? Gradually, its velocity decreases and decreases and at some point of time, it comes to rest position, isn't it? Why is it coming to rest position? When it is penetrating into the block, the block will offer opposing force. There will be some opposing force offered by the block to the passage of the bullet. Isn't it? So, because of that, what happens? Eventually, the bullet will come to rest position. If the block's thickness is small, what happens? Bullet penetrates and it passes from the other side of the plank or wooden, wooden block. Isn't it? So, I am going to discuss about a model. I am going to description, I am going to uh, describe the situation. Uh, see, I uh, will take a wooden plank. Let us say its thickness is some x. If I uh, shoot a bullet into the wooden plank, let us say it is penetrating in, through the wooden plank and it is going from the other side. If I wanted to stop the bullet, I can use one more wooden plank. If at all, 
you know, though I have used two wooden planks, if the bullet is not coming to rest position, if it is passing from the other side, I can make use of one more wooden plank. Okay. So like that, if you know the initial velocity of the bullet with which it is shot. Okay. And at what, you know, by, you know, in what way uh, it is losing velocity. If you know these details, like, you know, after traveling so and so distance, if, it, if its velocity is reduced by so and so, like that if, if some data is available with us, we can estimate how many number of planks are required to stop the bullet. Isn't it? Can't we? We can. We can. So I'll I'll describe the situation. Let us say there is a wooden block. Sorry, wooden plank. I'll take its thickness as x. When it is about to penetrate into the wooden plank, let its velocity is u. When it is leaving from the other side of the wooden plank, let us say its velocity is reduced by one by nth. Reduced by one by nth. So what will be the velocity? U minus u by n. So here when the bullet penetrates through a plank, wooden plank, its velocity reduces by 1 by n. That's what the situation is. So what I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to find out a number of such kind of planks required to stop the bullet. So I'm going to arrange one more plank like this. Let this plank's thickness is also x. I'm going to make use of one more plank. Let its plank thickness is x. Like that, I will use m planks. How many planks? M planks. So what is the uh, total thickness of this bunch, this pile? It's Mx. If at all, if a bullet is penetrating through all these planks and if it comes to in uh, rest position in the mth plank, how much is the distance covered by the bullet? Mx. Isn't it? Isn't it? X, X, X like that, it will cover a distance equal to Mx. And now in this situation to know about, uh, you know, M value, I'll make use of one of the kinematic equation, V square minus U square is equal to 2As. The reason for using that kinematic equation is I know the initial and final velocities when it is passing through the what, uh, wooden plank. Okay, so let me apply that. What is uh, the final velocity when it has penetrated penetrated through the first plank? Final velocity is u minus u, u by n. So final velocity is square. So u minus u by n whole square minus initial velocity is how much when it is entering into the plank? U. So u square is equal to two a where A is deceleration. Since it is deceleration, you can use a negative sign here. And how much is the distance covered by the bullet? Equal to thickness of the plank, x. Let us take it as equation number 1. And eventually, you know, when it enters into the mth plank, what happens? It will come to rest position. When it comes to rest position, what is the final velocity? Final velocity is 0. So I will write one more equation for that situation, considering u as initial velocity and final velocity after it gets embedded into the mth plank is 0. So corresponding to this set of values, I will write one more equation. So v square, final velocity square is 0 minus initial velocity is u square is equal to minus 2a. Total distance travelled by the bullet is how much? If it is travelling up to mth plank, mx. Let us take it as equation number 2. Now what I am going to do, I am going to divide equation 2 with 1. Okay, if that is the situation, you will have minus u square by u minus u by n whole square minus u square is equal to minus minus gets cancelled and you will have 2a mx by 2a x, 2a, 2a x, x gets cancelled, then you will have m here, isn't it? Let us simplify this equation. I will multiply this minus sign to the denominator. So u square will appear here and u minus u by n will go to the second place, right? So u square by u square minus u minus u by n whole square is equal to m. And here you can take out u common. Here one u is there, here one more u is there. When you take out u common, it becomes u square. And uh, now one u square is available here, another u square is available here. Even you can bring it out. Okay, let me write detail u square by u square minus u square into 1 minus 1 by n 
whole square equal to m. u square will be taken out and uh, both the u squares gets cancelled here and here and finally you are left with 1 by 1 minus, take LCM here, n minus 1 whole square by n square equal to what? m. Take LCM again and take this uh, denominator to the numerator, n square by n square minus n square, I am expanding this one, what you will have? Minus 1 plus 2n equal to m. If this negative sign is multiplied into the bracket, this is how you know signs will change. So n square n square gets cancelled and finally number of planks required is equal to n square by 2n plus 1, sorry 2n minus 1. So that is how you can find out the number of planks required. Uh, to stop the bullet. So, after penetrating into these many number of planks, n square by 2n minus 1, we will be able to stop the bullet. What is this n? Here you, you are given with the data of n. When it has penetrated through a single pl plank, what has happened? The velocity reduce, reduces by 1 by n. If at all in the question, if it is mentioned like velocity reduces by uh, 1 by fifth, for example. So, n is what? 5. So, you can replace n with 5. When you replace n with 5, what you will have? m is equal to 5 square 25 by uh, 2, 5, zero, 10, 10 minus 1, 9. So, this is what you are getting, 2.7, isn't it? So, 2.7 in the sense what? 2.7 planks, there won't be 0.7 plank or 0.6 plank like that, planks won't be available. Okay, you, you have to take uh, planks of, uh, you know, same thickness, right? So, uh, 2.7 in the sense, the bullet has crossed second plank and it got embedded in the third plank, third plank, okay. So if the question is how many planks are required, the answer cannot be like, you know, 2.7 planks are required. The answer will be what? Three, three planks are required. That's how you are supposed to answer. Now let us discuss about one more situation. What happens if a bullet loses? Uh, its velocity and its velocity becomes 1 by nth. Earlier, velocity is reduced by 1 by nth. Now, the velocity has become 1 by nth. Okay, if that is the situation, how many planks are required? So, I will take a pile of planks like this. I will assume that m planks are required to stop the bullet. Each plank is having a thickness equal to x. Initial velocity as usual u, but here when it is passing through the second plank, velocity is u by n. Velocity is reduced to what? 1 by nth. Reduced to reduced by, both are different. Reduced by 1 by nth in the sense, here velocity will be u minus u by n. Reduced to 1 by nth in the sense, velocity has become u by n. Okay, so this is the situation. I will use the same kinematic equation v square minus u square equal to 2 as again here. Okay, here what is the final velocity? u by n. So, u square, n square minus initial velocity, u square. How much distance it has covered? The bullet has covered a distance equal to x. So, you will have 2ax since it is undergoing deceleration minus sign. And in the last plank, mth plank, it will come to rest position. So, final velocity is 0 minus initial velocity is how much? u square equal to minus 2a. How much distance it has to cover? It has to travel through m planks, right? So finally, in the mth plank, it comes to rest position. So the distance will be taken as mx, isn't it? So I'll I'll take it as equation number one. This has equation number two. Dividing equation number two with one, what you will get? Minus u square by u square by n square minus u square equal to uh, minus minus gets cancelled. You will have two a m x by two a x two a x two a x gets cancelled. Yeah. And here, you can multiply this negative sign to the denominator, you will have u square by u square minus u square by n square equal to m. And you can take out, take out u square common here, u square and u square gets cancelled and finally we are left with 1 by 1 minus 1 by n square equal to m. And uh, how it can write, how you can write this, you can take LCM, so you will, and whatever uh, n square is left here at the bottom, it can be taken to the numerator, so n square by n square minus 1 equal to m. So this represents what? Number of planks required to stop the bullet if the velocity reduces to 1 by nth when it penetrates through one plank. If this is the situation, number of planks required to stop the bullet m is equal to n square by n square minus 1. Okay. 
Now, let us discuss about one more point connected with this one. Let uh, there is a wooden block. There is a wooden block. Let us see initially when the bullet is entering into the wooden block, its velocity is u. It, uh, it has penetrated through a distance equal to x. Through a distance equal to x. Let us say up to here it has come. And its velocity is uh, reduced by 1 by n. So, u minus u by n. Okay. So, what happened when it has traveled through this wood, wooden wood <coughs> wooden block through a distance equal to x, its velocity is reduced by 1 by n. So, at this point, velocity is how much? u minus u by n. Now, my question is, further how much distance it has to travel to come to rest position? Let us say, further it has to travel a distance equal to y, so that it will come to rest position. So, in this, whatever model I am, whatever situation I have described here, there is no question of passing through the block. Somewhere inside the block, it will come to rest position. So, what information I have given? It has travelled a distance equal to x and its velocity is reduced by 1 by nth. Further, how much a distance it has to travel so that it will come to rest position. So, our interest is this y. We have to find out y. So, here known details are x and this n. These things are known to us. Okay. So, again I will make use of this v square minus u square is equal to 2ax or 2s equation. So, let me apply. What is the final velocity corresponding to this distance x? u minus u by n. So, u minus u by n whole square minus what is the initial velocity u square equal to minus 2a into how much is the distance travelled by the bullet x. Now, after travelling a distance further by y, it is coming to rest position. So, final velocity is 0 minus and uh, here see corresponding to this entire path x plus y, what is the initial velocity u? If you have taken this entire path here, what you have, you have to write minus 2a into what is the total distance covered by the bullet x plus y. That is how you will be taking, is not it? So, let us let us continue further. I will take this as equation number 1, this as equation number 2. As usual in the previous case, here also I have written two equations corresponding to this distance x and corresponding to this distance x plus y. Okay. After travelling a distance equal to x plus y, it is coming to rest position. So, here you have replaced with a 0 and corresponding to this distance x plus y, what is the initial velocity? u is the initial velocity. So, u square is equal to minus 2a into total distance x plus y. Now, I am going to divide equation 2 with 1, minus u square by, what you will have, u minus u by n whole square minus u square equal to minus minus gets cancelled, you will have 2a into x plus y by 2a x, 2a, 2a gets cancelled. So, you will have x plus y by x, something that can be written as 1 plus y by x, you can write like this. Okay. Now, here I will multiply negative sign to the denominator, you know this procedure, whatever mathematical procedure we are following, this is quite similar to the previous discussion, right. So, minus n can be multiplied here, u square comes to the first place and this one go, will go to the second place and u square can be taken out common and it can be cancelled, directly I will write the equation. So, what you will have 1 by 1 minus 1 minus 1 by n whole square equal to 1 plus y by x, this is what you will be having. Isn't it? So let us simplify this equation. Um, I'll I'll take the LCM. So if I take the LCM, you will have n square minus n minus one whole square, and in the, in the denominator you will have n square. It can be taken to the numerator. So here you will have n square equal to one plus y by x. Okay. So from uh, what we can do, we can simplify this n square minus here, n square minus 1 plus 2n. After expanding, I have multiplied this negative sign and directly I have written the equation here is equal to what? 1 plus y by x, n square, n square gets cancelled and what you are left with? n square by 2n minus 1 equal to 1 plus y by x. And what we have to find out here? We have to find out y, right? Let us try to find out y. So, from this equation, y by x can be written as n square by 2n minus 1 minus 1, n square minus 2n plus 1 by 2n minus 1, and n square minus 2n plus 1 can be written as n minus 1 whole square by 2n minus 1 
equal to what? Y by x. Therefore, y is equal to x into n minus 1 whole square y to n minus 1. Okay. So, further how much a distance it has to travel? It has to travel a distance equal to x into n minus 1 whole square by 2 n minus 1 so that it will come to rest position. This is the case when velocity is reduced uh, by 1 by nth. What if velocity reduces to 1 by nth? We will see, we will see about that. If that is the situation, if velocity is reduced to 1 by nth, again you will have a picture something like this. Initial velocity u, let us say it has travelled a distance equal to x and here velocity has become u by n. Here velocity has become u by n. Let us say further it has travelled a distance equal to y, somewhere here uh, it has come to rest position. It has come to rest position. Now see. I will I'll write v square minus u square e equal to 2 as equation for this distance x. So, what you will have? What is the final velocity corresponding to this x distance u by n? So, u square by n square minus u square equal to minus 2 a x and corresponding to this uh, distance uh, x plus y, what you will have? Final velocity is 0 minus initial velocity is u square equal to minus 2 a into total distance is x plus y, is not it? Now, I will take this as equation number 1, this as equation number 2, dividing equation 2 with 1. Let us see what uh, we will be able to obtain. Minus u square by u square by n square minus u square equal to 2a, 2a gets cancelled and you will have x plus y by x or 1 plus y by x. That is what you will be getting, is not it? when 2 is divided with 1 and here u square can be taken out common and you can multiply this minus sign to the denominator you will have 1 by 1 minus 1 by n square is equal to 1 plus y by x and n square by n square minus 1 is not it and you can bring this minus to the LHS side you will have y by x here and n square minus n square plus 1 by n square minus 1 equal to what? y by x therefore n square n square gets cancelled what is our interest we wanted to find out further how much distance it has to travel to come to rest position and we have defined that distance as y so let us write y so y is equal to x by n square minus y okay See, I want you to understand one important point here. If you wanted to make use of kinematic equations, you can think about several situations. Not only this, you know, bullet and plank model. Okay, you can think about several models. In the last session, whatever problems were described to you, uh, all those problems were having different situations, right? So you can have different possible. Uh, situations where you can apply these kinematic equations. And in the next session, I will continue with some problems based on this one. Okay, children? Thank you.